Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. Welcome to Everybody's Here. Hope y'all are ready for a great show tonight. Uh, it's been very interesting. Last week, it was just ladies. The week before last, it was just men. And now it's me and my sweetie pie. Oh, we don't, we are assuming everybody knows who we are. I'm Dr. Willie Jolly, and this is D. Taylor Jolly. We're the authors of the book, Make Love, Make Money, Make It Last, 10 Secrets to Shape a Great Marriage. We've been married in- On the 28th. And uh, how long is that? 23 days. We'll be 38 years of marriage, 23 days from now. And I still got the hots for you. I still, I still really like you a lot. I really do. I know I, I got nothing to say. I know you I got, got me, me crazy. crazy. <laughs> I still like I still like being with you though. But you, you I drive, drive you crazy. Me, yes, and I tell you that. She tells me you drive me crazy because you always got something going but on. I'm drawn to you. <laughs> yes, like a like a moth to a flame. <laughs> Let's, get into it. Let's get to this. We have had a number of emails from people, and one that keeps coming up is when the husband is a good provider, but is not affectionate. Okay, so why don't you just tell the story that you actually got the- Email. It was an email, you talk, didn't you talk to Well, I, I had a conversation, but it was an email first. Oh, see, I don't even know. All right, and, and, and so, but this is not a, this is, I get this all the time, okay? This is not something, oh. okay? Yes. Martin's uh, family's wife. Aww. Pray for the Martin's family. His wife filed for divorce. I'm encouraging both to tune into the broadcast. Let me tell you something. That said, I had another couple, another couple, uh, uh, another another couple, where they were in trouble. I talked to this husband. He said, "We are in trouble." The husband, and I said, "Do me a favor. Here's what I want you to do: watch." This is my standard operating procedure. Watch the TED Talk. Watch the TED Talk. I mean, here's what I want you to do, tell Terrence. Tell them to watch the TED Talk. Say, oh, here's how you set it up. One of the people I think greatly of, or I, I'm impressed with, or I'm in, I think I'm in, I'm, I have respect for, is Dr. William D. Charlie. They have a TED Talk. I think it's awesome, but I want your opinion. Mm. Encourage them. Give, say, I want your opinion. When you do that, what they do is that it strokes their ego. ego. So the, the wife title? sends me an email. Okay. Says, here's my problem. My husband is a provider, but there's no affection. There's no So he's paying the bills. He's paying the bills. He's not a he's not a he's not a uh, uh, what's the word? He's not a uh, Slouch. He's not a slug. Not he's, a financial he, slug. He, he, he's paying the bills. He's taking care of the household. But she said, what about the affection when he gets home? He doesn't really talk to me. We don't have a date night. We don't have affection. I feel, I don't. we don't go places. And I really want more in terms of the romance, the relationship, the love, the holding, the touching. I'm grateful for the providing, but that's his his whole perspective is that love in marriage is spelled P-R-O-V-I-D-E-R. I provide for you. I done what I'm supposed to do. So what did you tell her? I told her that that's when we have, okay, that's when we get to the solutions for this. That that typically, and Chris is great about it, he said providing more than just money, right? Um is more than money, it's providing uh, intimacy. You know, we go back to what we say in our book. Women, gentlemen, need two things and they need it really, really, really large, supersized. Intimacy and security. Now, the, the providing will give them security that they, they got a roof over their head, they got food in the table, they, 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 they got a car to drive, but they also need intimacy. They need it. They need intimacy. Well, I think you need to define intimacy. All right. Define intimacy. That is that warm feeling inside that makes them feel appreciated, 
that makes them feel special, that your significant other becomes significant. And that is why they need intimacy. It's not always sex. No, 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 no. Intimacy. That means you are taking the extra little bit to make them feel special, that they are special, letting them know that they look good today. I tell you all the time, you look good. Even when you lie, I like it. <laughs> uh, and, and I take a cup of coffee in the morning. I, tell, I say, you want some coffee? And I, I'll, I'll, I'll be out and I'll buy a little something. I say, you want something? I'll, I'll call, I'm going. You normally like food. Because you like food. I'm going to take you out to sushi. That's what I said to the other night. She said, well, I don't want to. And, and, wanna, and I get it. I, I, get I don't want to go here. I, 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 I'll take you I out. I want to be with him. I don't care really that much about eating because if I eat more than I should, then I got to work out an extra hour at the gym. I cannot do more than two or three hours at the gym. She's already there three hours already. <laughs> 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 all right. All right. So, uh, uh, so anyway, I, I know there's a lot going over there. So I'll get back to that, Terrence. Uh, here's what I want people to understand that, that women need, and when you get that provided, that means some probably, probably with the model in your household, your father worked two, three jobs, mm -hmm. but there was not a lot of, of a model mm -hmm. of intimacy and and he did not know. I like that. I think that's what, uh, yeah, 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 what yeah. Terrence is saying. It mm -hmm. was what he did not know. He did okay. not know. So let, go ahead and finish because I have a different perspective. And so with this mindset of this is how I show my love is to pay the bills. But what about the rest? And that's what's lacking. And that's where, we, where there's a, a disconnect. So now, what did you tell her to do? I told them, one, that it is important right out of the book to tell one, you got to have a date night. You got to have a date night. Because that reconnects the romance. That gets you back to the two of you. Then you're in a romance and a, and a date night, two things you can't talk about. The kids and the bills. They are off limits to talk on date night. Because when you were dating, you didn't sit around talking about the bills, nor did you talk about the kids and all what they're doing. You talked about each other, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. You held hands. You went to the movie. You didn't have to spend no money. We do. We got Netflix now at home. We probably got a, a, a they even now we got all sorts of Tubi and, and and all sorts of free movies, old movies. And so uh, she married him for a reason. At one point he was doing something right or she was unconscious. <laughs> Terrence, He's you know. Convenient. He, I tell you, Terrence. When finished, I can get him. I want to get my point. All out. right. So one is a date night. You got to establish a weekly date night and y'all got to have this conversation go. So I guess the starting point is the four F's mm. be friendly, be frank about your feeling, be fair, be focused on a win-win. So first, if y'all have not seen the Ted talk, we give the four F's in detail. Be friendly. Don't go in mad. Don't go in hot. Don't go in hostile. Don't come in hot. As they say, you want to come in cold, cool, not cold, cool, calm, collected, but don't be friendly. Then be frank about your feelings. Here's how that makes me feel when you come in, you don't speak to me or you don't take me out to uh, a movie or, or even a, a McDonald's or what we do, go to Walmart. We hold hands, but you, we're together. Okay. And we're talking, we're enjoying each other. We like each other. That's right. Be friendly, so, be frank about your feelings, how this makes me feel. Be fair. Ask the question. That's fair. Well, why do you do that? Because there might be something you will learn in that process of communication that my dad did that. That's how he said you're supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. That or my uncle told me, if you won't really love a woman, you might get some insight. So be willing to listen. Be friendly, be frank, be fair, which means to listen, and then be focused on a win-win. We're in this to win it. We are a team that we're gonna attack the problem, not each other. Let me say it again. We're gonna attack the problem, not each other. And so first is the four Fs, then have a date night every week, every week, have a date night. Don't have to spend no money. You just have to have time together. It's intentional and it's focused on the two of you. And you do that every week. And then the third thing, if after you've talked about it and you've had a date night, and then you make sure that there's a reward system when the husband does something you like, reward him. That's conditioning. Positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement. Yep. Right. The Bible says learn 
I like what the Bible says, learn of them. We don't come in knowing. That's true. That's right. All right. Okay. Now. Okay. This this is my side. Completely different perspective. I agree. Communication is the key. Okay. That we have to learn how to talk to each other. And first of all, it's uncomfortable. Yes. So my number one, I come from a different background than Willie, and I was married before. Full disclosure. Full disclosure. Okay. Okay. All right. You cannot change your spouse. You cannot manipulate your spouse. Mm. Okay. Except that number one. Okay. Except that you chose this person. They didn't drag you off by the by. By the hair, hair. Head, <laughs> or drag you to the altar, or maybe you had an ulterior motive. Oh, I've never been married before. I'm out of college. It's time for me to get married. It's the next check on my on my card. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have to, the one who's complaining, mm -hmm. have to accept responsibility that the two of you entered into this thing. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then now, once you accept responsibility and say, I, I had something to do with this. Right. Right. Because you didn't marry him and he was just paying all the bills. There was something there that attracted you. What was that thing that attracted you? You need to remember what attracted you to that person to begin with. Right. Yeah. So focus on what brought you together. Okay. Accept the fact that you chose him. Yeah. Focus on what brought you together. Right. Then focus on yourself. What is it that you might not be doing? When I say there's a lack of communication, do you ever say, I'm having a problem here? That gets to your fourth F thing. Starting to talk to him to say, you know what? I'm uncomfortable with this. I'm having a chance. Help me out. Okay. This is how I'm feeling when we talk about the four Fs, actually, right? Right. This is what I'm feeling. I'm uncomfortable with this. Could you help me out? Or I don't understand. And I think the difficult thing, like for me, I'd have everything in my head, but I would never say anything. Ah, okay. I think that is so crucial because so many people do that. And until you are honest with yourself, well, why is this happening? He's going one way, I'm going another way. Wait, well, why is he? A Somebody's got to stop and say, what's going on here? Okay. So if you're thinking about it, then you should be the one to stop and say, oh, let's have a conversation. Right. Let's right. have a conversation over tea. It doesn't have to be a big meal. And I don't want to cook anyway. <laughs> let's have coffee together. And let's, let's talk. Let's get close. Uh, Things like that I did not understand. And stop criticizing. When I say stop criticizing, well, I mean, she talked to you as a counselor. Right. That's good. Yes. As opposed to, and I don't know if she's, done this to talk to other people who can be of no assistance. Particularly people who are unhappy unhappily and, married right. and they can tell you everything and everything and what you ought to do. Girl, no. you ought to just leave no. him. Oh, you better leave him. That's the first thing that people say so when they don't have any, any solution. Go to a, a wise counselor, a Christian counselor, or at least ask for advice. Yeah, That's what I would do or what I should have done. I didn't have enough knowledge to do that a hundred years ago, right? Okay. So appreciate the fact that he brings in the bread. Yeah, be now, grateful. That is major today in relationships where the person is paying all the bills. That might not be enough, but if you are thankful for the fact that he's bringing in the bread, that thankfulness might bring a little warmth your way. What I'm saying articulating the fact that you know what you paid the rent you did this we had extra money this month you are big daddy big daddy big daddy big daddy, big daddy. Big daddy. you daddy. brought in the money yeah. big daddy i'm gonna i'm gonna hook you up big right. daddy and he might be like what Ooh. let me show you this is this is mature me talking as huh. opposed to 50 years ago okay avoid comparing yourself to what you see other couples do because they lie. Mm. If you don't see them behind the scenes, it's just like we have house guests all the time. We have house guests all the time if you don't like being around us. Right. Or they'll say kind of things. So y'all are holding hands, squeezing each other's butt, you laughing. 
they like the environment. So if you are not around people, you don't know what they're doing behind the curtain. Don't don't listen to them because they lie. People they lie. Put, they put everything on social. That's why I also don't pay attention to that. I, I don't have time for social media because I have so many <laughs> other things on my plate. But people only show you the good stuff, right? They all made up. It's just like at the gym. I go to the gym. Ladies got the lashes, got the very lashes, got the head, they got the pad in the butt. And the other day I saw this lady. I said, oh, is that how I can take a picture? So she sucked her stomach in. She turned to this. You know that when you suck your stomach in and you turn to this side, you know, you got no belly. Not real. Not real. Not real. So you have to step behind and communicate and be around people to see how they actually treat each other, how they talk to each other. That sweet talk. Terrence said, I want a woman who pays all the bills and I paint her toes. <laughs> And then back to when you analyze yourself, you know, like I don't, I got some issues. I, I know I have issues. I got issues because I love bleach. I have issues because I want to wrap up all of the, the the garbage and put in little plastic bags and put it to the side because you can't put the garbage in the trash can. Just rig it in the trash can. In oh, the garbage God, can. No, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. It's but that's what it's for. A garbage can. It's got to be wrapped up. I know. I, so O C D is so, so, O C D. So there's a level of uh, humor. Oh, so you have to get some humor. You know, I know I'm off the charts. True. I know that. So we can laugh about it when he brings me back and says, "D, now, now you know you're being a bit extreme." I'm like, oh, you're right. <laughs> but we can laugh about we it. We laugh about it. We talk about it. And sometimes I gotta go into the trash can. He does that. And find something that she's throwing away. That, 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 that's the problem he has. I got an issue. Mom. I got issues. He I goes got to issues. The trash because he assumes that I've thrown away something that he needs, which he really doesn't need. But, but he have you ever trash. thrown away something that I related said, I need this? You said, well, I didn't think you needed it. Well, sometimes what I'll do if I don't want him to find the new trash, I'll take it to the trash can down the block. <laughs> that comes from my mother okay my mother was she didn't throw away anything so i got a, i got a little bit of issue there i got an issue I got so a, the communication yes all right the four s friendly frank fair and focused on um a win-win for both of you and you know what it's, that's hard yeah it is hard we have perfected it over the years but that is hard with you because you are the kind of person who is kind and thoughtful and gentle by nature and you talk why when you talk on living with you talk i was like oh my god will he just please be quiet this is just driving me crazy which is a good thing I, in, in the overall scale of things it's really very good because i had to learn to translate what i was thinking to actually articulating it and <laughs> saying in a kind thoughtful word as opposed to just shut up right <laughs> I have issues. The I'm introvert. She's an introvert. She's OCD. <laughs> I'm an extrovert. I'm messy. And so how do these, these two extremes come together? Because we talk to each other. We, we laugh. Same, we have the same value system. We love, we love our families. We love our kids. We love the Lord. Yep. And we really like each other. I think one of the things we were saying to, to our son about developing the relationships it took us a while because i was not interested in getting married again right. ever again in ever life. again but you just kind of wore me down because you I were did. sweet you were you were so thoughtful thoughtful meaning that you would call me and i know you would call me from some other girlfriend's house back then they didn't have a cell phone and you'd be like thank no. god thank god no cell phone thank god call thank god thank god activities going on in the background but you were thoughtful. You called me to see how I was doing. And it's another one. Initiate intimacy. Now, now, intimacy doesn't mean necessarily jumping in there because y'all already going your different ways. But intimacy might mean let's go out for a walk this evening. Go for now, a walk. Now, she's saying he's not initiating. He comes in. He goes and sits in front of the TV. Well, then why don't you go sit with him? Okay. Hello? Good evening, sweetie. What would you like? Would you like dinner by the, by the television? Now, I have learned because he makes me feel sexy. So I'm always trying to do something. Something on me. She's All throwing, the time. She's throwing because something on me. He has identified for me 
that he likes it when I'm close and, and that I am sexy. So because he has said that, then I act more sexy. So if he goes and sits in front of the TV and it's not paying me any attention, I'm going to go sit in front of the TV. Maybe oh, sit in on his me. lap. Sit on my lap. There you That's go. what she comes. Sit on my lap. And he'd have to say, uh uh, excuse me, D. I, I can't see the TV from your boom. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true, but I love her for it. So to, to, to get a sense of confidence, that's why going back first and looking at yourself, you know, how am I? And, and what brought me into this relationship? You know, what am I responsible for? I think all of these things and, you're and saying to work good. on myself first and then be proactive. Yes? Now, now I, I, Aisha King said uh -oh, it's, 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 say? it's, it's, it's flipped. She is like me, and her husband's like you, okay? Uh, but that D is something else. She is. She is. She is. She is. She is. You're right, Brenda. She is something else. He so, unleashed. He unleashed. I you unleashed all the time. She says, you are wild. I said, that's what you turned me into. <laughs> <laughs> so, folks, wow, you're right. Everybody's right about this. Everybody's right about this. So, Let's go to uh, our point. Uh, okay, okay, go ahead. When your spouse pays the bills but doesn't pay attention, mm -hmm. I like to say, tell them, work on them, share with them, don't fuss, don't nag, do not nag. Be proactive, be creative, and be loving. Remind yourself that you chose them. That's right. But y'all right. are in this together. Okay, now I chose them. I know I'm not stealing. There must be something there. Then let me get down there and figure out what that is and remind me of why I'm in this relationship. That's right. right? That's right. Then you be proactive. And proactive says, okay, I'm going to smell good. I'm going to look good. I'm kind of summarizing. And just saunter on up to him while they're sitting in front of the TV. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a measure of confidence. Well, what a great way to start. What are they going to do except say, oh my God, what is wrong with you? I'm working on our relationship. We're working on it. And look, yes. we're 38 years in yes. and we still got a lot of fun. So, uh, Karen said, what does the husband like? Find what he likes, give him more of it, okay? And y'all start working. And she, uh, I, I used to say, they, he's throwing away her stuff. And she swears she needs it. I'm with you. I need the stuff. Well, look, our time is up. We want to thank y'all. We were at the a Black Philanthropic event Friday night. And I want to sh shout out to all the folks from Chase who invited us to be there. It was fantastic. It really was. It was there. educational. It was nurturing. It was just fantastic. Wonderful group of Chase black wealth builders that was a wow it was wonderful yes so anyway but people came up to d and said we watch you we love you i was so humble i was like oh what we <laughs> watch you we were sitting next to felicia rashad and she was so nice i was totally impressed i don't get impressed at often but she's a little lady and so demure it was a pleasure to meet her and mm -hmm. so people came up to her and said to d and said we watch you we love you and then we were at another event and people came up to D and said, we watch you every week on YouTube. We want to thank you all. We want to thank you. and want to ask you for a favor. Please share it with people in your relation and your network who are struggling in their marriage or you know they could be some, they could be improved, their relationship. Share our shows, share the TED Talk, share our books. We want to save a million marriages, enhance a million marriages. And so we, we want you to do that. Would you do that? We want to save marriage. Let's see. And if her husband's always throwing stuff away, I start hiding. <laughs> I don't have, and make a game out of it. I, uh, I'm telling you, a uh, sense of humor helps with de-stressing because Lord knows I needed it. Well, thank so you, hiding. Aisha. Yes. She did 12 years last weekend. Great, great, great. Congratulations. We're yes. coming up on 38 and, and It's never days. ended. And one of the things that I am going to do because there was such an interest in in T Way in our conversation that we're going to offer some um, suggestions and some resources when you consider all the books that we read, and we're going to be talking about something called Women on Pause. Ooh. Pause in 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 a but, variety of because you know men are, men are pause mean men on pause, so now they got women on pause. But here's what we're going to do: we had a conversation the other day about 
a exotic place to have a marriage retreat. Maybe uh, what were the different places he mentioned? Um, Cancun or, or, or Belize. He talked about Belize. Talked about, I like the idea of Belize. And he said these black hole and scuba diving and the like. We're well, having a marriage get, event to get away. We speak we for have, 2024. Four. So we were because it takes that long to plan and get everything in place. Yeah, but we're going to be what developing that working on that. Next month. And so we want to encourage you to stay connected, share this with everybody you know, so they'll be in our circle. We also want you to go to see the TED Talk at JollyMarriage.com. TED Talk at JollyMarriage.com. We have a relationship repair series. We want more people to take advantage of it. It's at jollymarriage.com slash events. It was an event we did, five part series with plus a sixth bonus part on communication, finan uh, finances, sex, family, and family matters, plus the, the 11 biggest problems that break up marriages and how to fix them. So go get this relationship repair series at jollymarriage.com slash events. Uh, let's see, what, what was Tara that? says. Uh, let's see. Six figures, she's beautiful. Seven figures, she's gorgeous. Eight figures, help me, Lord. <laughs> a comedian. He is a, all right, last but not least, for those who are joining us again, on the 17th of this month, I am launching, premiering. Saturday. Saturday, my one-man show. Everybody needs to come. It's going to be music. And In Washington, D.C. Music, motivation, inspiration, entertainment, inspiratainment, as I like to call it, where I'm going to do jazz and inspiration, funny stories, encouraging, and lessons to turn your setbacks uh, to coming. And lessons because he sang for his supper when I married him, and I had to remind myself, when I married this man, <laughs> He's don't say it. 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 Because she will say it at certain times why she married me. And it's all about the sex. But but she sometimes gets a little graphic. Graphic. Anyway, look, uh, Marissa says you look cute. She Thank is you. cute. I love her. She's cute as a button. I love her. We're 38 years and we're still got the hot to each other. Look. Go to go to thecomebackshow.com. The Comeback Show for the Comeback Show. JollyMarriage.com to get books. This is the marriage month. So get books for people who get married. Get two copies. Bless them with it as a, ma as a marriage gift. Give them books. Don't give them a toaster. Give the them books. The marriage so should last longer than the wedding preparation. Absolutely. Let so, this be a great resource. All right. So do all of that. We'll see you. Keep sharing this with everybody you know. We want to thank you. This is Dr. Willie Jolly. Steve. Hey, Delatoro, our son is on the, on the hey. line tonight. Hey, son. <laughs> He's our other son. Delatoro, the, one of the greatest speakers smart. on the planet. Y'all go see Delatoro McNeil. Just, just Google Delatoro. Delatoro. <laughs> Nobody does what he does on stage. Nobody. He's one of the best that the world has ever seen. All right, we got to go. We love you. Our music is coming on. And we love you. See you on the 17th for my one-man show. Until then, we'll see you next Monday night. Here we go. Jolly out. Jolly out. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you.